Hi friends I am Balaji Rao welcome to BR Max class in this class we will learn the definition of onto function and we will learn how to check a function is onto function most of the students they will confuse while checking the given function is onto function or not if you watch this video till the end i'll give clear information after watching this video you will never say that checking onto function is difficult let's start the class onto function onto function is also known as surjective function what is the definition of onto function a function f from a to b first of all it is a function if it is not a function there is no question of onto function a function f from a to b is said to be onto function a function f from where to where a to b is said to be onto function when we say a function is onto function f for every element in set b every element in set b set b is what codomain we already know domain codomain image pre image i am going to use these words if you don't know please watch second class in functions chapter i'll give the link in the cards or i'll give the link in the description for every element in set b b is codomain for every element in set b there exists at least one pre image in set a pre image when we do example problems then you will know this more clearly what is pre image what is the definition of onto function for every element in set b there exists at least one pre image in set a at least one pre image at least one pre image minimum one pre image in set a we will try to understand this definition more clearly with examples you see this example it is a function from a to b first of all we need to check is it is a function from a to b if it is not a function from a to b then there is no question of it is on to function how to check a function how to check this is a function or not we already discussed this in class 1 how to check it is a function or not here however i'll recall quickly you observe every element of set a is used every element of set a is used yes it is used it is used only once yes so f from a to b is a function every element of set a is used and it is used only once so clearly it is a function once you identify it is a function now we need to check this function is on to function or not how to check a function is on to function or not for every element in b for every element in codomain set there exists at least one pre image in a at least one pre image you check here what is image of 1 image of 1 is b because 1 is related to b image of 1 is b what is pre image of b pre image of b is 1 what is pre image of a pre image of a is 2 what is pre image of c pre image of c is 3 for every element in b you observe here for every element in b there exists at least one pre image for this element how many pre pre images are there one pre image is there even though for this element if two pre images pre images are there it works okay for every element in set b there exists at least one pre image you take this element b for this element b pre image is there yes minimum one pre image maximum many also accepted because at least one pre image for the element c pre image is there yes three is the pre image for this element c so in this example for every element in set b there exists at least one pre image in set a so what we say we say that this function is onto function so here what we say f from a to b this notation itself indicates it is a function f from a to b is onto why it is onto because for every element in b for every element in codomain set there exists at least one pre image in set a that's why we say that this function is on to now we'll try to understand this with one more example you observe this second one f from a to b first we'll check that is it is a function or not 
If it is a function, then further we will check whether it is onto function or not. How to check whether it is a function or not? You observe set A. Every element in set A is used. Yes, every element in set A is used. It is used only once. Yes, two used once, three used once, one used once. Every element in set A is used and it is used only once. So what we say? We say that it is a function. Now we need to check that is this function is onto function. We need to check that is this function is onto function. How to check the function is onto function? For every element in B, for every element in set B, there exists at least one preimage in set A. At least one preimage in set A, then we say that it is onto function. Okay, you see the element B. For this element B, preimage is there? Yes, it is there one. For the element C, preimages are there. What are the preimages of C here? Preimages of C are 2 and 3. Two preimages are there. It's okay because they are saying at least one preimage. For the element C, two preimages are there. It's okay. Is it is onto function or not? Think it. Is it is onto function or not? You observe the definition here. What they given? For every element in set B. For every element in set B. You observe A here. For the element A, preimage is there. For the element A, preimage is not defined. In the question, preimage of A is not defined. So, as per the definition, for every element in set B, there exists at least one preimage in set A. So here, it is not onto function because the preimage of A is not defined. I'll write the same thing here. If I write this notation f from A to B, it indicates it is a function. f from A to B is not onto why? Because, because for the element A in set B, pre-image is not defined. Pre-image is not defined. Pre-image is not defined. That's why we say that this function is not onto. Third example is very, very important example. You please don't miss this third example. I'll give very, very important information in this third example. Now, let's see third example. See this example number three. Function is defined from set of all real numbers except zero. What is the domain of this function? All real numbers except zero. What is the codomain of this function? All real numbers. Function is defined like this. Domain is all real numbers except zero. Codomain is real numbers. How it is defined as? It is defined as f of x equal to 1 by x. f of x equal to 1 by x. How you check this function is onto function or not? I'll give very very important information. Please listen carefully. How you check this function is onto function or not? We do one thing. We'll divide this problem into three steps. Step one. First, you take given function as y equal to f of x. First, you take this y equal to f of x and you write what is f of x. What is f of x? f of x is 1 by x. When you want to check the given function is onto function or not, what is first step? You take y equal to f of x. Okay. Once you take in like that, what is f of x? f of x given in the question. f of x is 1 by x. We written like this. Step 1 is over. What is step 1? You consider y equal to f of x. In place of f of x, you write that a given question. From given question, we will get f of x. You write like this. Step 2. Write x in terms of y. Listen carefully. Step 2. Write x in terms of y. Here, if we interchange, if we cross multiply here, you can write x in terms of y like this. x equal to 1 by y. Step 2 is also over. What is step 1? First you take y equal to f of x. You can observe here. What is f of x? You write. Step 2. By simplifying, you write x in terms of y. I written here x in terms of y. Third step. Step 3. Please listen carefully. Step 3. For every element in B, here y means y is a functional values. Y belongs to code of mindset. Try to understand what is the definition of onto function for every element in B. Here x is in domain, y is in codomain. For every y, 
for every y. What is y? Y is in codomain mindset. For every y, x is defined or not, you check. What is y? y is a real number. What is x? x is all real numbers except 0. Okay. So, y, you take y value any real number. You take y value any real number. x is defined or not, you check. For example, I will take uh, uh, y equal to 1. y means you have to take from code of mindset. I will take y equal to 1. You take y equal to 1. 1 by 1 is 1. x equal to 1. x equal to 1 is there in this? Yes. That means for the element 1, there is a pre-image is 1. You take 2 in this set. 2 in the code of mindset. In place of y, you take 2. 1 by 2. x equal to 1 by 2. 1 by 2 is there in this set? Yes, it is there. 1 by 2 is a real number. So, uh, those elements, pre mays are there. You have to check this for every element. You have to check this for every element in set B. If you are able to find one element which is not having pre image then we say that the function is not onto. You see the second example. Here this element pre image is there, this element is pre image is there. But for the element A, pre image is not there, then we are saying it is not onto. In the same way, if you able to find one y value for that x is not defined, that means for that element pre image is not there. Listen carefully, it is not very easy. So here, what I'll do for y equal to 0, I'll take y equal to 0. 0 is real number which belongs to code of mind. You take y equal to 0. If you take y equal to 0, what is x? x is 1 by 0. 1 by 0 value is defined. 1 by 0 value is not defined. We don't know what is the value of 1 by 0 because 0 is there in the denominator. So, if you take y equal to 0, x is not defined. What it mean? It means that for 0, there is no pre-image in domain set. For the element 0 in codomain set, there is no pre-image in domain set. Then what we say? We say that the function is not onto. How we will write the reason here? For y equal to 0 in codomain x is not defined. So what we say that implies for element 0 in codomain pre-image pre-image is not defined. Pre-image is not defined. So from this what we say we say that f is not onto. I hope you understand this. I hope you understand this class. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. If you are not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, subscribe now. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.